Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com, and at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, we are going through the throes of summer right now. So I wanted to do a tutorial on how to clear up sunburn for those photos you take when you're out and about, or maybe somebody has taken of you. Look at this final result. So it's really actually pretty easy to achieve this effect. We're gonna check it all out here. If you do enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video tutorial in the future. And if you really enjoy this tutorial, please consider picking up a copy of my retouching course. There's gonna be a link that appears somewhere up there in the corner, but there's also a link down in the bio. You can pick up that course, and this channel is entirely funded by viewers just like you. Thank you so much. Let's jump in and check this tutorial out. All right, so here we are. We have somebody who has a rather severe case of the old sunburn. And check this out. Look at how easy this is going to be to correct this issue. Uh, first and foremost, I like to go and just convert the image to a smart object or the layer that we're working on to a smart object. Right click, convert to a smart object. That just allows us to, to do some things later on down the road. Then we'll go filter and we will choose the camera raw filter. Um, we're going to jump out to the camera raw editor when we do this. Now here in the camera raw editor, I'm most interested in my hue and saturation. So that's that HSL or grayscale sliders. Uh, and we have a bunch of options here. Uh, now, first and foremost, I should mention this effect works when the sunburn is to the point where it's very deeply reddening the skin and not that crazy sunburn where you're blistering up and you know it's looking really horrific. That's gonna require some heavy healing action in Photoshop. This is just for your general sunburn where the skin is totally discolored. Um, when you have something like this, the first thing we need to do, and, and the beauty of HSL, as you can see, we can target all these different colors. The red is just, there's too much red there. So immediately we need to begin by attacking the hue of our primary reds and shifting that more toward the orange. You can see right off the bat, we're taking a lot of the sting out of that sunburn. And we can try messing around with the oranges and making them a little bit more yellow, but you really want to be careful. It's going to start affecting kind of the unburned skin. So kind of tread lightly with that, uh, because again, we really want this to blend nicely. Then I'm going to come over to the luminance tab here. This is the brightness factor. And all of the red areas, they're just too dark. So we need to go and start brightening them up. That's going to help kind of blend this with the rest of the skin. Great. And if we absolutely need to, we can reduce saturation straight up, get rid of some of the color in those red areas, just like that. So first thing, we shift the red to more of an orange hue. We brighten the reds up and then we reduce saturation of reds and even oranges, and we can even brighten up the oranges as well. But again, you just wanna be careful that you don't affect the rest of the skin too much. We come down here and hit okay. And you can see if I drop this menu down, now this is because I converted this to a smart object, we can now turn our filter on or off. So there's the image we started with, there's the image we finished with. Now, one of the other advantages to using smart filters is we have this mask here. So let's say you it's just not targeting the colors correctly in your image. Well, go ahead and make the adjustment, then select your mask and go image adjustments invert and that's going to fill your mask with black and hide the entire effect then just grab the brush tool here right click choose like a large soft edge brush like the 300 pixels here hardness set to zero it's just a nice soft edge brush make sure your foreground color is set to white so we're painting with white and then you can just simply paint the effect onto the areas where you want it to appear so we're painting with white on our mask. See how that white is appearing on our mask? And the white areas, that those are the only areas that are going to show through. So we can go through and just kind of, you know, paint the effect exactly where we want it to be instead of relying upon a camera raw to pick up exactly what needs to be uh, changed in terms of the color of this person's skin. So there's a lot of options, a lot of different things you can do uh, in terms of removing sunburn. See, we got all, rid of all the sunburn on their head and it's still down here on their cheeks. Uh, if I hold down shift and click on on that uh, mask, it's gonna just hide the mask temporarily and therefore show the entire camera raw effect uh, and thus get rid of all of the sunburn on this person's face. So there you have it. If you enjoyed the tutorial, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and for getting rid of sunburn super duper quickly, much faster than waiting for it to heal at the very least. Man, I hate sunburn. It sucks. Uh, for removing sunburn in Photoshop in no time flat, guys, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.